How you doing my fellow gamers, Sir Dazzler here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering part 4 of Crash Bandicoot Warped of the Insane Trilogy. We finished off in Warp Room 3 in the last video and then we were moving on to Warp Room number 4. So before we kick things off, uh, if you still have liked the previous content guys, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. All help would be greatly appreciated. On such a small channel like this, it is very helpful, you have no idea. So, um, you can also follow me on Twitter and, and Instagram at SirDazzer and also I have a Reddit account set up and that is at SirDazzer also. I'll be posting the videos up on that also and trying to put it in more than one place, you know, Twitter and Instagram are um, a decent enough spot but uh, Reddit seems to be uh, the new kind of hotspot for putting up videos so uh, you can also check that out. So that's enough rambling, let's get on with it. Alright, so we finished off, we are going on to warp room number 4, here we go. I'm going to start off with one of my favourites in this, uh, in this uh, warp room, and that is Bye Bye Blimps, one of Coco's levels. And it's great fun, I love playing these uh, airplane fighting modes. <laughs> it's actually quite an easy level. Just the inverted control is a little bit more awkward. Just kind of, it's probably the best way to go, I think, because you need to get all the boxes as well. You can get the, the gems and the, you get the gem and the crystal if you go the right way. Always make sure to get all of that box before you hit, take in the last blimp, otherwise it won't count. Lovely, doing pretty well so far. Take the, the last of the boxes. I think I'm missing one. What the hell is it? Uh, there you are. You tarnish. There we go. Straightforward enough. We are out. The inverted control is a little bit different. I probably I, I would change those controls if you're having trouble with it. Because up is down and down is up. I can't stand that crap. That's just me though. Alright, let's skip the dance cup up. Let's get on, we go off to the river. So what do we want for this one? This is called Tomb Waiter. So there is, I believe, a blue gem in this. So we just gotta get to the death route without dying. So I'm doing it a little differently. You don't always have to do 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. It's nice to mix it up every now and again. Alright, so this one with the water is a bit tricky. The water comes up and down every couple of seconds. And bandicoots are no... Uh, no good in the water. Water seems to be their number one enemy. Just watch out for those. Let's jump across them. You can walk in the water to an extent, but you can only go so far in the water. And that goes back down, you can just slide, jump. You'll be alright here, the water will only come up to your waist, you should be okay. So 
So I'm going to slide, double jump, and spin across. Get some air time. And there we go. So bonus, here we go. All the eights. <laughs> All right, so don't hit that metal box. Hit this box first on the knee. You can double jump now, now that you can. The powers now, you will need them going forward here, but they come in handy, especially the double jump and the death spin. Very handy. Uh, so here you're gonna need this. Double jump and spin. Let's go. There we go. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. That was my bad. Okay, so I'm gonna have to finish that. I didn't think that far ahead. It's probably because I'm half asleep here. It's uh, half twelve at night here in Ireland at the minute, and it just came off a, a, a eight and a half hour shift of work, so uh, I'm not a hundred percent awake. Can't get it right all the time. Sometimes you just need to take a second look. Two, three, all right. So we're gonna go across here, grab these legs underneath. There we go. Just double jump. Nice and easy. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so we're gonna Double jump and spin across, make sure you don't hit the TNT. There you go, it's great because it gives you air time and distance. Boom! Alright, we're out. Okay. Down this way. Do I with those bugs, man? They can fly. Just give them a little spin and they're uh, every way. You can't spin these as you can jump on top of them. Well, I thought you could. I guess I got that wrong. You should be able to just jump on top of them. Spin them as you usual. You won't have enough time to break the boxes and make it to the next point unless you're using the speed shoes. So that's why I just hit the boxes. Let's stay out here. This was always a bit of an awkward help for people who couldn't time the water. It's very important that you time the water. You have maybe about six or seven seconds before the water comes and goes. So that's very important that you time that. Let's spin that out there. And now we're at the checkpoint. Here's the death route. This should bring us to the blue gel area. All right. Careful here, I'd wait till the water went down, but I just took a little bit of a rest there. And we need to get up for the water. So this one is it's a little risky, but just familiarize yourself with the pad. Fine. Oh that's close. There's a lot of nitro here, it's not actually a whole lot of boxes. So don't worry about uh, missing any boxes here. It's all nitro from what I remember. Wait to spin this, wait till the water comes back down, then spin it. Otherwise you can get caught in the water. The door won't open in time yet. Let's go. Yeah, 
Oh, it's red. Alright. Now, there is a blue gem. So like before, when I got the purple gem, you can just go through there. But you're not going to get anything else. Now you're going to get the crystal. So what I'm going to do is the quick option, bring back the checkpoint and kill myself. It's just the quickest way to do it. Because it, that means you have to do the level twice. So I have the blue gem now, so I don't need to go in the desert anymore. So I should be able to go all three now. Two gems and a crystal. Oh, there's the crystal. Beautiful. that spin to give yourself some air time and especially those bugs when they're flying they're kind of harder to hit I would never try to hit them in mid-air it's, it's just too risky just wait for them to be on the ground when the water goes down much easier Spin the lads at the top, that's it. I used to think it could actually bounce on their heads. At least all those work, maybe just because it's the remake. Alright, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Blue gem as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Throw on Coco D, I think. Ah, uh, she's just adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go on to level 16 now, and you're going to see why I did it this particular way. Soon, Crash Bandicoot will meet again. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. <laughs> so back off! Mm, he's actually quite an interesting boss. So that's why there's a blue gem hidden area there. And that's why I do it that way. Okay, so I always make sure to look at the very beginning of the level. I always make sure to go back. That's how I figured out where this was. Went to the end of the level and was missing four boxes. Then it just happened to look behind me. And I know said. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna take this route here. So we're gonna spin and we're gonna slide, double jump, and dead tornado spin. Observe, slide, double jump, dead tornado spin to give yourself some air. That's it. Slide. There we go. You can just use that for taking out multiple enemies. It's very handy, as well as giving you plenty of air time. The dead tornado spin is very effective. Lovely, there's four lies, I'll take that. So now we're gonna have to backtrack and find our way back to the start of the level. There we go, so we have the checkpoint if all else fails. As you're going back against the camera, this can be particularly difficult. 
and just take your time when you're going against the camera. Watch out for these spikes. Pick them up twice from what I remember. So watch your step. Nice and easy. And there we go, and we're out. Back to the start. So let's make a way forward now. Go to the side there if you don't want to waste time. Turn to get squished. Double jump, just don't get hit by the spikes there, so just do that. Dead tornado spin is uh, the mommy. Out here. That's how you do it. Just try to you just slide and jump out of the, out of the way of the two of the the lights. You can slide and do it the wrong way. Oh, got squishy. Having the patience to wait. Got another checkpoint. And now I have to go back to get the box in this. Ah. This time round. Oh, almost messed that up there. Timing is everything in this game. Just gotta time the like the lights of the doors and everyone coming out. So slide. Oh that's close. So watch the timing of these these boulders coming down. Or oh, big big lumps of stones. The way the Egyptians used to do it. I'd say that I thought if that landed on you. Alright, hit the next checkpoint, at least we're moving forward. I'm just going to hit the top two here. That's where the most apples are. There we go. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go up onto this uh, blue gem here. See where this brings us. Fast-paced. Nice and easy. Very fast-paced. Just, you just kind of have to go with it. Nice and easy. We got it. All right. I don't think we actually haven't got the crystal either. We do need that crystal. We'll, we'll come back to it. Okay, well we got the secret gem, so... If I, if I kill myself there, I'll just land back in the checkpoint of that area, so there's no point in doing it. So we'll move on and um, gonna go we'll go back to that now in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna move on to the next one which is Future Frenzy. 
this to me is like a cold hard crash. It's one of those levels that you have to do a couple of times. Bit futuristic, I love it. Gonna tell myself coming through each area here. Those layers of ink cut in half. These lads, you can only hit them when they're in this farm. If you hit them in any other farm, you're going to get pulverized. Okay. That's them. Boom. Lads, nice and easy. Let's jump and jump over these boys. There we go. When that's green, that's when you jump. When it's like that, you don't. Same here. When the spikes come out, stay away from it. Careful with these boys. Always make sure you're on top of them. Don't try and spin them from underneath, they won't work. And this will just bring you up. There we go. That's easy. Double jump across. There we go. Boom! Just that. Nice. Just double jump. Hit one with the TNT. It should activate chain reaction. Boom. Alright, bonus time. Let's go. Alright, here we go. So you're going to need to use your your powers here, the double jump and the death spin, the death tornado spin. So, like so. Even shows you which ones to use here. Slide. Missed a couple, so let me go back. You may have to do this a couple of times, depending on the way you, you hit the hand the spin. There we go, that's basically it in a nutshell. Slide under here, and it's so nice and easy. Double jump on the, on the first box, bite the nitro, and away we go. Wait for this lad to come to you. Hit this. Easy across. Careful here, like so. That's it. So there's a secret level for that later on in the game. You will need it to get the the hidden gem and the basic gem. So we will come back to that later on. Nice and easy. Okay, so we we'll go on now to this next one with Coco. Tell no tales. This is the next level of the 
the water skiing. All right, same again. Just be very patient, very careful with these controls. The water in this is not your friend. Easy. Ooh, close. Try that. You have to, yeah, kind of have to. Um, double, double back in a couple of areas to get the rest of the hidden boxes. So you can go around here. You need to have to double back this way. It just brings to the same spot. There's a couple of missing boxes that you need there. That's just a shortcut for the time trial going around the, the other way. There we go. Right, so far so good, we have hit the checkpoint. We're doing okay. Yeah, see what I mean? Controls in this very awkward. The water, with the water, the way you're floating in the water, the waves. Very unpredictable. Uh, see boxes in here. That's why you always double check every area you're going to. And go around. I think there's another one here. No, there's only two. I think I can find my way to get those three lives there. There is a, a route to get to it. If I don't get it in this video, I will get it in a later video. I can just bomb the pass. There we go. Go. Watch out for jaws here. Nice. Actually, doing pretty well. I've never really fun with these water skiing levels. Just with the waves kind of bounce, it really puts you off. Your rapids are going over the ramps. Get the boxes on the high ramp on, on the top. I think we're doing pretty good. All things considered. Let's hope we don't fucking jinx it. So there's a box back here, so you go back this way, you double back, and get this box here. Alright, there is a life there you probably saw, so you have to kind of dive under as you land, like so. That's how you do it, right? I don't think I did get it. Just dive under it there. Uh, I did get it. Luck must be on my side today. Don't watch the bombs. Nice and easy. Oh, easy. Watch yourself. Those bombs are very unpredictable in terms of movement. Alright, I think we're nearly out now. Let's see. a few. I knew we were missing a few boxes. I'm going to double back because I think I know what they are. And Finlay is missing a few. I think I know what they are. They're back here somewhere. Let me see. 
Might take a hit in the up here. Okay, now that took. So, yeah, if the back here, I'm very sure of it. Just kind of follow, follow the yellow area, yellow border. This is where they are. Just hope I don't get killed. I have a long way to go if I get hit. Three, come on. Yes. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Got it. All right, all right. Yeah, we have them all. Now we just gotta get to the end of the level without dying. That's where they are. Follow, follow the, the yellow area there. I know there's name for the red ones and the yellow ones. I just I can't think what they are. I'm bringing some function too well because I'm very, very tired right now. Close. Straight through. Got the knife, got the gem. We're out. That's what I'm talking about. Four down, one to go. Alright, Coco. Okay, so we're going to go back to the things today to primarily just get the crystal. I forgot that go getting that secret gem actually brings you to the end of the actual level and it, there's a couple of checkpoints there so um, you just end up stuck there so that's why I have to go back and do this. You can do this either way, you can forget about getting that secret gem and just do it the normal way but I did it first, go all the way to the end, it's entirely up to yourself. But you can't proceed in this game. Even if you just get the crystal, you can't proceed in the game without the crystal. The gems are bows, but the crystals don't matter. There we go. Now, since we already did the secret area on the left, there's actually no boxes there, all there was was a few lives. So we don't need to go that route now again. All right. Wait for that to shoot down the big lump of a rock. A big lump of stone. So just gotta time this right and we can wait for the next one to come. Make sure it doesn't land on you. There we go. I love that that tornado spin. It comes in so handy. Mine is still probably the that and the double jump combined are probably the best. I think a lot of people's favourites is the actual uh, the next weapon you get after beating engine. I'm not going to reveal it just yet because there, are, there probably is people watching this who've maybe never played the game before in their life. So I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Easy. Wasn't sure where that rock was going to land. Right. And the field line was clear, but I wasn't 100% sure. Okay. No, we'll get to that. Loads of apples. Yummy. It's 
a wonder he's not as as fat as the damn pig eating all those damn apples. Well, all the running around, no wonder he keeps himself so slim. Pouring it all off. Okay, bonus level, here we go. Oh, this one looks interesting. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. Just do the slide and things should be fine. Loads of TNT here. There we go. Nice and easy. Don't hit that TNT, otherwise you're going to blow up that the light in here. There we go. That's the way you do it. Then hit the TNT. Heavy flop. Lovely. Alright, we're almost there. Watch out for the monkeys. That tornado spin. There we go. I'll take a couple of apples off here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten. You get ten apples off it. There we go. Easy now. Go for it. There we go. There we go, there's the gem and the crystal, four out. Now I know that took a bit longer, I didn't realise that doing the other gem. I forgot that it actually brings you right out of the level and you can't go back. But there we go, we got an extra gem out. Okay, bravo crash, do your dance. Okay, it is time for engine and when you fight engine, you play as Coco, and this is a very interesting boss battle, one of my favourites. We'll see who is the Baragon. There we go. Let's dance. So we just got a basic way for his open see, there's a lot of areas to hit. So he's got the Gatling guns, he's got the rocket, uh, eh, got the rocket ones here. Just stay low from the Gatling gun. Stay low. I'll just, I'll just go above him. I've never tried going above him before. Oh, took a hit there. So you want to kind of concentrate on one particular area at a time. The way I'm doing it here now is kind of all over the place. So concentrate on one particular area. You have where the missiles are coming out now. It's probably a good one. Watch out for those damn missiles. Gatling gun area is probably an easy enough spot to take. There we go. Got one of them. So now keep it low or go above them. Seems to be easier to go above them. There we go. That's one of the missiles taken care of. There's two. Yeah, you got to take care of the centre core. Centre core taken care of. All we have left now is the Gavin Gunman's left arm. Away from to open fire. Gotcha. It's time for round two. We got real fortunes of our own. And look who's decided to join the party. There we go. Let's dance. 
these yokes take lumps out of you, so try and take them out first if you can at all. That yoke there, you cannot destroy, it's very hard to destroy. You just kind of have to wait for it to pass over you. Ow. One hell of a hit there. Yeah, there's one down. It's very important to try to dodge as much as you can. Don't stay in one place for too long. Because his weapons are a lot more powerful the second time round. There we go. Another one down. Those laser beams that you're shooting out, they take a fair bit out of you. I'm trying to get rid of those damn uh, missile launchers. There's another one down. Got one, one of the laser beams is down. One laser beam, one missile launcher, one missile launcher dead. Last laser beam, come on, open up, open up, come on. Open up, come on. Gotcha. They're done. Well, look what we got. We got ourselves a bazooka, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And we're out. That's always one of my favourite battles. Takes a little bit longer, but I find it very interesting in a tactical battle. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. This is what? For this we must destroy you! <coughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? Oh, will you? How mysterious. Okay, guys, that is Warp Room 4 done. I know it took a little longer than others, but I want to get through a Warp Room at a time. The boss battle takes a bit longer, but I always enjoy that boss battle with Engine playing Coco and had to double back on a couple of levels, but it's worth it to get the extra gems. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it is helping. Uh, if you have any questions or comments guys, don't be afraid to put it down in the comment section below. It will be in the link in the description, so uh, don't be afraid to ask me by hand then, because this is that's what I'm here for, okay? Um, don't be afraid to also follow me on Twitter and Instagram guys, as I said earlier on. And also on Reddit, at Sirdazza. They're all um, at Sirdazza. Um, and this video should be going up soon enough, as long as soon as this Wi-Fi just sorts itself out. We should be putting these up daily once it's sorted, so I hope you can keep with me for that. So, until the next time guys, have a good one.